All I can tell you about this one, it's called Dawson Falls Parking, mm -hmm. and it's about 10 meters away. Oh, that's I not very far. I loaded it up late, so that's all I got. So let's see what we can get. Okay. I'm at one meter over here, and it's got a, like a sheltered area. I can also tell you it's a two, one and a half, and it's a regular. So we shouldn't have too much trouble. But you never know. I see some duct tape. Good work. There we go. That was a little harder to find than we uh, we yeah. thought it was. But there's a, a cache coming up and other things to show you that you cannot miss. Coming up next on Cache Canada. We've headed north from Kelowna to this area to catch a few waterfalls and a target cache, which is an earth cache, at a nearby falls. This, what we're about to see, is just a bonus. This is Dolphin Falls, but this isn't even the big one. This is what we wanted to bring you to. This is Helmkin Falls. It is the fourth highest waterfall in Canada. And I saw this one on a Facebook page about the Earth, and I shared it onto the Facebook page, Earth Cache Rocks. And I knew I just had to come here. So I looked it up, and lo and behold, it was only four hours north of where our daughter lives. So I knew we could easily get here on a day trip and come and show you this wonderful waterfall. It's just breathtaking and I could just stand here and watch it all day. This waterfall is rated as a one and a half, one and a half, but this earth cache has five questions and of course there's the optional photo, but you'll take lots of photos here. Optional photo? Yeah, if that's not an option for us. We got to get a photo. Ready? Let's go. We'll okay. Take a picture. Waterfall in the background. Camera comes up. Cheese. And there's a cache here at the parking lot to end this episode. And it's within two meters of me, somewhere. Just gotta find it. Uh, ooh, no. Well, we couldn't find that one, but at least we could find the waterfalls. Yeah, they were <laughs> really fantastic. It would be a shame for us to come all this way and not be able to find the waterfalls. Oh, that would be pretty sad. <laughs> As for the geocache, I don't know, the mosquitoes were just so intense, I couldn't handle it anymore. And the horse flies. Yeah, and it was so hot. And just a little point of uh, reference, if you're if you're not going to put a hint, don't put anything at all. Yeah. Because this one said no hint required. Well, you know what? We couldn't find it. No, we needed a big hint. <laughs> yeah, you know, if you're going to put a hint, put a hint. Otherwise, don't. 
This earth cache that we just saw was absolutely fantastic. It's amazing. It just looks so gorgeous. But the earth cache, as Lyric Glass mentioned, is only a one and a half, one and a half. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It is a fairly simple earth cache. It's fairly straightforward. But that rating doesn't capture your attention to say, oh, I've gotta go see that. And the only reason that we knew about it was because of the Facebook article that I saw on the Earth page. And in addition to that, Earth caches I go to, usually I will look at the Earth cache and I will go to its image page and then I will check it out and see what it looks like. In many cases, it's the images that people post that really strike my interest of going to see that and saying, I've got to see that earth cache, or well, I've got to go to that location of that cache. The earth cache that we're going to be going to next week is probably not as fantastic, but it has an amazing rating that we need for our earth cache only fizzy grid. And we hope that you can join us next week and check that out and see what the differences are between the earth cache we just saw with this waterfall and what we're going to see next week. We hope you join us then. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Thanks for watching and where will geocaching take you?